Now, though, plenty to debate on the show. The renewal of a debate, in fact, is almost as old as the artefacts it's about. Should Britain return the spoils of empire to the countries they were originally taken from? The British Museum has revealed close to 2,000 historic pieces worth millions were stolen by one of its senior curators. And now Greece is using this opportunity to demand the return of the Elgin marbles held by the museum in London. They claim thefts have shattered the myth that it's the best and safest place, the UK, to hold these types of artefacts. Joining me to discuss all of this, the co-chair of the Pan-African Reparations Council, Kofi Mawuliklu, former UKIP MEP Roger Helmer, and former Labour advisor to Jeremy Corbyn, James Schneider. Thank you, gentlemen, for making time this evening. Let's get stuck right in. Kofi, why is it necessary, in your mind, that these types of artefacts should be returned? Well, they should be returned because they belong to the people from whom they've been stolen. They've been literally uh, brought here through criminal, you know, acts of armed robbery, you know, and it is about time if people are waking up to these crimes to atone for them and to meet the demands for reparatory justice that Africans and other colonized peoples are actually um, highlighting at this time, then it is about time that we actually talked about what to do with them. And it is, you know, engaging with the communities that have an interest in this matter who must be seen as co-custodians. These are world heritage, you know, treasures right now. Mm. And it is for um, us to deal with them as matters of reparatory justice, in which case for us as in the International Social Movement for African Reparations, what we are calling for, of which PACO is mm. part, what we are calling for is let's have an all-party, you know, commission for truth and reparatory justice, we call the APKITACH. Let's bring everybody around the table and let's discuss how we handle this world heritage treasure. So it is, we are not part of those who say, return them. Return them to whom, how, to where. If in the British Museum they can be stolen, mm. then, you know, if you take it to these corrupt governments and so-called misleaders we have in places like Africa today, we, you know, you can be sure that they will disappear right back. So what we are saying is that let's call everybody around the table and as co-custodians of world heritage treasures, let's see what best yeah, we Kofi, can all do Kofi, about Let's, it. let's get our facts right. You say it's armed robbery. Certainly in the case of the Benin bronzes, what was done was legal in terms of international law at that time. Uh, in the case of the Elgin marbles, they were sold or given to Lord Elgin. So let's finish with this uh, armed robbery. But whose international law are you talking about? The international I mean, law as it stood at the no, time. Come on, are keen you on violated law. laws of the peoples for whom these robberies and criminalities were conducted. This, this white supremacy racist attempt to think that, you know, anything talk, you know, con conceived in Europe can be imposed upon the world. And, and, becomes and your, I, your idea that anything done by about? Europe is wrong. No, I, that is not I, what I'm talking about. I am very about. tired. I'm not saying that. I am, I'm, 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 I'm going to let James, James please, uh, because obviously it's an impassioned debate. A lot of people do agree that these artifacts were originally stolen. It's the repatriation process or the returning. It should it be a collaborative, you know, uh, or should we be keeping them here? I think what Kofi said is basically correct, that there should be a collaborative process to take the ones back to the places that they were taken from. And we all think that theft is wrong. We think that this curator who's allegedly taken 2,000 pieces, we think that's wrong. So we should think it's wrong that they were taken in the, in the first place. And there might be some uh, artefacts that are best placed in the British Museum because for the reasons Kofi was saying, they can't go back to, to where they are or they'll be seen by more people. But when those ones are displayed, they should have the history of how they were taken and how they ended up there as part of the permanent exhibition so that the museum is not just a museum of some objects, but it's also a museum of history and how those objects have come to be in front of the people. But the, the logic of this position is that if we are saying that all all foreign artifacts must be returned, you will end up where an English museum only has English artifacts, where a Nigerian museum only has Nigerian artifacts, an American museum only has American artifacts. Anybody who wishes to study the history of human culture uh, over a long period would have to make a world tour in order to see all these exhibits. The great thing about the British Museum is that you get the whole thing together and you can study the whole thing in one place. But and the same applies that, to other major uh, museums in uh, Europe and in America. Okay. But who says Britain has a right 
to, you know, hold on to stolen goods, particularly those brought here through criminal acts of, you know, crimes against humanity like war, enslavement, you know, invasion, and so on and so forth. Britain has no such right. These are world treasures. You know, these are, this, this belongs to all of humanity, and, but we need to bring everybody around the table it, so that they are no longer it belongs, war rules. If it belongs that to all of humanity, then why are we returning them to it? No, because Britain has no right to have taken them from there in the first place through just crimes of against humanity. James, Roger, Many if, people if, lost if were, their lives through If it through the them. other way around, and yes. the kingdom of Ashanti had colonised Britain and had taken back, for example, Stonehenge, and that was displayed in Kumasi, you would be sitting here saying, no, we should have those back. They're, 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 that's part of our heritage, that's part of well, our, our, our we, culture. And that would be a perfectly reasonable thing. Now, then, what sh should the museum director in Kumasi say? They should say, mm. well, how are they going to be, be displayed? Mm. How can we work with you to display them in the way that's going to most show to the most people what they are and that pays respect mm. to the culture from which they came from? It, in two, the case of two, Stonehenge, comes from the you know, southwest mm. of England. 2,000 years ago, the Romans colonised Britain. I don't know what they took, but I dare say they took a fair bit of stuff. So far as I know, nobody is demanding the return uh, of any such materials. So how far back are you going to go in history? Well, but we no, would know not... if they were things that we really wanted back. We would be aware if Italy was holding on well, to something Well, because it was 2,000 years ago, we will probably have forgotten. <laughs> uh, what no, about the, the idea... The point of... is that, oh. you know, crime in the past, particularly crimes of armed robbery, you know, through genocide and ecocide upon, you know, millions of people, right, that cannot be justified. Under any circumstances. I've given you if, two if, cases if, where if, it was if, not a crime of armed robbery. Let's well, that's that your opinion. But well, most people. Well, the the Elgin Markles most were, were, were purchased off the Ottomans who were occupying at the time. So it's a deal between essentially a colonial power, a wannabe colonial power, and an occupying power. It's okay, hardly a fair but trade. In terms, of, in terms of Lord Elgin, it was done in a legitimate way. What had happened to them beforehand was not his concern.